going <laughs> guys it's a man like Tess back here with another video i should have i should have a thing like i'm back long day i'm back with another video q a don't mind me i'll be eating if you don't like it i don't care from just wait but yeah um so, q and A. I've done a lot of things with the questions and stuff, asking you guys to ask me questions. I picked nine here for the first video that caught my eye. So let's get into it. Nice. First question. What got you into TikTok? I'd say what got me into TikTok would have been just my, you know, passion to make videos. You know what I mean? Um, I've always wanted to make videos as a kid. I've always made videos, skits and stuff like that as a kid. So I just feel like TikTok was a place that I could, you know, show that. And obviously I've done a lot on TikTok. I've done like interviews. I've done relatable things. I've done school things. I've done day in the life things like complaining about my day. So I enjoy putting content out there, even though like, honestly, honestly, Views did matter to me. It did matter to me. But then I realized that I was doing it. I started doing it for the love of making videos, not for the views, not for anything. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What got me to TikTok would have been my passion to make videos. <laughs> Second question. Oh, yeah. And by the way iPhone 11 giveaway? Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No bullshit, bro! I don't know, if you get me to 2k followers, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Where would I go? First off, I would go to Bora Bora. If you guys have not seen what Bora Bora looks like, crazy. Absolutely beautiful. I'll put a picture of it, like right there. Bora Bora is absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to go to America, like every state in America, because I don't know. I just want to see how it's like in America. Because we see all the movies, we see all TV shows, drama shows about America. But I don't know. It just I just feel like it would be so much different from Australia. I feel like just the way of life would be different. And the girl, them, <laughs> the girls, you, what? Who said that? Not me. Next question. What motivates you to play soccer and make TikToks? Okay, I've answered the TikTok part. Oh, but what motivates me to keep doing it? I feel like my supporters. I don't call them fans because I don't think fans. Stop the cap. <laughs> supporters. It's my supporters that, you know, wait for videos every day. That, you know, that give me the motivation to keep making them. Keep, you know, providing you guys with content. You know what I mean? And, you know, obviously no one's going to like the... Not everyone's gonna like my content, you know what I mean? Everyone's gonna be like, oh, your account is dying. I've had a few, I've had a few. Oh, your account's dying, or, which it is. <laughs> Make funny TikTok, like bro, but some people like it, you know what I mean? So I can't please everyone. You're gonna have haters if you, in this, like when you become like, I, I wouldn't say I'm big, but kind of big, you start to like, it, it's not only mental, it's also, well, I mean, it's not only, you guys, there's two sides. There's what you see and there's what you don't see. It's mentally draining. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's mentally draining. Making videos every day, trying to please everyone is mentally draining because you have comments that will say, oh, this is bad or whatever. Like, and you also just want to keep up. You want to continue because, you know, you want to please, you know, please you guys. But um, what mot motivates me to play soccer? I'd say just, just to be successful in what I'm passionate about. I love soccer. I've put in too many hours in the sport to quit now. So my dream is to be professional. Um, I want to do it for my mom and dad, especially my dad. My dad's, you know, my biggest supporter, I think. So, yeah, more like um, to please, not to please, but to like to make them proud. And yeah, to make myself proud because I know I can do it. So yeah nice question do i have a girlfriend <laughs> well uh, i have a girlfriend 
I'm single. I've been single for two years, I think. Yeah, but I think it with me, like, I feel like, I don't know, I just, I just don't want a girlfriend at the moment, I guess. Obviously, I wouldn't say I don't want, like, I'm, I, I don't mind talking to people, but it doesn't really last long, because, you know, I'm really, like, petty, if you, if you could say that. Like, I, one thing, I'll be like, nah, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's, I think it's probably that, but at the same time, nah just can't didn't have time for that you know what i mean hit me up best thing about run what what is the best thing you like about adelaide so oh, as you guys know adelaide is where i live i live in south australia australia you know what i mean you know the vibe my adelaide people what you said adelaide, adelaide gang the best thing i like about adelaide yikes um, see, I've lived here a lot. <sighs> Best part I love about Adelaide is when everyone gets together. When you see people you haven't seen for ages, when you see new people, you know, especially when you see people that you haven't seen for ages and you guys are all in a big group. So that could happen like Henley, Henley, New Year's, it happens a lot. Boxing Day happens a lot. When it's hot, Henley, you know, just like, just those type of type of things that's the best part about LA because at the same time because it's small you know that's that's a good thing because it's small and everyone knows everyone you know what I mean so you know when you meet when you meet people you haven't seen in a while you know it's it's nice it's nice to it's nice to see you know what I mean um and also like you see people that like have grown up you like you grew up you know seeing them at soccer events parties when you're kids you know what I mean so Seeing them go up and like, you know, obviously you might not talk anymore, but you still say hi and that, but yeah, it is what it is. Next question. My wishes for when I'm older. Damn, what do I, I wish to be successful in my own way. Cause everyone has a different way of being successful, obviously. Not everyone's success is the same. For example, you could see someone that's, you know, homeless, for example. Their success would probably be getting off the streets, you know what I mean? Getting a job, getting whatever, providing from themselves to get themselves off the streets, you know what I mean? Wishes for the future would probably be to be a professional footballer, have a family, you know what I mean? I want my parents to not ever have to work again. Um, And yeah, just for my family and friends, they'd be happy and healthy. I think that's that's my wishes for the future. Next question. Who is my best friend? See, I, th I feel like I would have a, like a lot of best friends. You know what I mean? I feel like best friends, ugh, best friend, no, I not say they change, but you, you have people that you are friends with throughout high school and stuff like that. Big shout out to my boy Aiden though, Aiden Oliver. That guy's a great guy, man. That guy was dropping me off home after schools and stuff, picked me up. He did this one thing that I don't think anyone would ever do. But yeah, shout out, shout out to Aiden, man. Shout out to Aiden. Who else do I need to shout out? Shout out to all the Trinity man, boys, man. Those guys, I love you guys, man. Those guys made high school fun as flip. Those guys made high school a great time, man. All the Trinity boys, you know who you are. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, um, my best friend. I, was, I do it because it's, it's, it's weird because I do a lot of things with different people. Like, I would say Tana. Tana, Rukudzo, you know, I talk to those guys a lot, man. Those guys, I talk to, I'll put their faces, like, right there. Yeah. So Tana, Rukudzo, those guys, Brandon, you know, I have, a, I have a lot of friends that are, like, I'm close with. So it's like, you know, who do I, who do I, who's my best friend? I don't know. Russell, I have, I have friends, man. I have, some of you need to learn how to use toothbrushes because your breath be smelling like flipping that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed keep supporting me subscribe like share this with your friends like the video right now show me some love thank you guys for watching and peace out